well after the end of the regular school day. You wouldn't expect to see Mountain Ridge Middle School packed with students so what are Jesus who are eager to share their learning with parents, teachers, and community members. But that's exactly what happens during the iLab Capstone Symposium. Tonight was a culmination of two months of hard work on personal passions for our students. The assignment was simple. The whole idea was be the change you want to see in the world. So we had to take uh, whatever topic we thought we wanted through the design process. At first it was really overwhelming. Like we were, we thought like, how could we do this? But we started brainstorming and getting ideas. These seventh graders had an enormous amount of latitude. I loved being able to choose what we were going to do. We got to pick our groups, our subjects, um, how we presented and then we kind of got to pick how we carried it out. What makes Mark cool again is to incorporate a new method of thinking and culture that challenges the one that we have stuck to for so long. They even got to decide how they would present their findings. We kind of get to guide this symposium tonight because first of all they gave us the freedom whether if we wanted to do it in a science fair format or if we wanted to do it in the formal format which I chose. Is that a public school that we're talking about? While Evan Hutchinson chose to focus on the need to change American education. Some places like Seaworld get behind the scenes tour. Across the hall, the presentation was all about the ethical treatment of animals. This one um, right here was when I was two years old when I was younger. And in the comments, it was the environment. So our topic is reducing the amount of trash that we're putting into landfills. The tremendous diversity seen this evening is evidence of what happens when you allow students voice and choice in their learning. I've walked around and I've seen other kids and it was awesome. I, it was oh. I loved everything about it. I've, I've seen a foster kids, I've seen abused dogs, I've seen garden, how to make your garden grow. <laughs> but that's not all. A, a toaster, a design, clear toaster. A clear toaster so you could see your toast toasting. Mm -hmm. A bicycle that was designed to go through water. Yep. A portable trash compactor that scoops up the trash and then pressurizes the trash and compacts it. <laughs> These projects also promote higher order thinking. Coming in and seeing that this kid over here actually built a prosthetic for a dog out of an old Ikea lamp and a kitchen tong and what was the other piece? A scooter wheel. And this kid in the gym took a pair of skis that he got for free from a ski shop That's and so put cool. scooter wheels inside those and made um, a hybrid rollerblade ski to practice. It's not easy to try and change the world. So you kind of have to attack it in an, un, in an orthodox way and then in a more abstract way in order to get every perspective and viewpoint on how to solve it. We decided to start simple and I mean as long as it's picking up trash, I guess that was our goal. Through the process of invention, they have learned just about everything there is to know about their subject and research shows that learning will stick with the student longer. When you give kids a, a, a topic and you tell them, go and do some research on this and then present. They'll read off the card and they never look up to do anything. But these kids tonight, they were just talking about it. They were, they were telling they really you things. They know. That's mm -hmm. exactly it. Come they experts. own it. It's not given to them. They took it on themselves and they owned it. The seventh graders are more than capable. We can help change the world. They're young enough that their brains don't have the same boundaries yeah. that a lot of people have. They still have so they can imagine. Yes. And well, we have to be brave enough to say, I can't envision that. But you, you can do, do it. it. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, nervous, but yet excited. Of course, not everything worked all the time, even on the night of the symposium. I want to make sure you're good. And I think trial and error and over, you know, resiliency, which we oh, talked a lot about. Huge. Uh, they experienced tonight, you know, technical difficulties. Zoos think their animals have safe and healthy environments. And they worked through that in the evening. And we got a chance to interview him. Everything was okay because they know after a year in iLab that it is all right to fail forward. If you fail, you can just like try it again. Not all ideas are going to succeed, especially on the first try. The focus wasn't really on the presentation itself. Math and reading are in almost everything you need. Typically, one of the weirdest things for the students was realizing that their presentation tonight was not the end, that their poster was not the piece that was being graded or judged. <laughs> As the students cleaned up, there was a realization that it was actually about the process that they used to learn. iLab isn't a class, it's a method of thinking. And it's a method of thinking that applies to math, that applies to science, that applies to social studies, that applies to life. 
So what we're doing here is just taking everything else you learn everywhere and giving you a mode of working through it and getting feedback and making improvements. For this reason, it really shouldn't be a surprise that tonight's presentations are only the beginning. Students are thinking beyond the end of the year because they can't really implement what they want to do by the mm. end of the year, so they're not just quitting, they're making plans for summer and fall yep. and into next school year. The fact that we know that we're actually doing it and that it's not just like pretend projects like oh you come up with an idea but then don't actually go through with it which is how most school projects work. I feel like since we're actually going through with it it just makes me want to do it more because it's actually real. Well, I think they're really excited to keep going so this wasn't the end point for them. Thank you guys have a good rest of your night.